Previously on Undertale. What is that? What is that? What is that? What's that? Oh! Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Undertale True Pacifist Mode. Uh, yeah. Okay. Weep. Boop. <laughs> pat, pat. Oh, that was so cute. Oh, and the, the covers. Zoom. No covers. Okay, last time we made it to the true lab after we befriended Alphys, and she still has sins from her past that she needs to come to grips with. Apparently, the lab is overrun with these quote-unquote amalgamites, which are creatures that were in Toby Fox's Halloween hack of Earthbound. So, par for the course. I guess going this way would be good. Ooh, but first, I want to make sure to get into my dimensional box. Get the stick. Can I talk to- no? Okay. Golden flowers. Entry number seven. Okay. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? You're using flowers to hold them. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. But yeah. So if a golden flower could hold a soul, that would make Flowey a whole lot more understandable, wouldn't it? Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Hello, everyone. And this is the Reaper Bird. One of the amalgamites here. If you recognize its appearance in some points, it's made up of three monsters that we've met before. It's made out of an, a, an astigmatism. A, gosh, a whimsalot and a final froggit all put together. So we have to use those particular fight little f act button things to spare it. So pray, you kneel and pray for safety. Question, let's see, ellip, what, no, what's that called again? Dang it. It remembers its conscience. <laughs> Look. Oh, okay. Oh, butterflies are swarming its face. Butterflies are swarming its face. That's a little creepy. Uh, mystify. You did something mysterious. S something recognized it is has it has more to learn from this world. Man, I'm really stuttering today. You look. Ah! Whoa, 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 watch with the butterflies. Watch it with the butterflies. Okay. Now, pick on it. You picked on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. See? Now it's called the Reaper Bird. Someone finally gets it. Rivet, ribbit. Courage! Oh, heads! Ah! Why are the heads just swarming? Reaper Bird seems... Placated? Is that the way you pronounce it? I'm slightly sleepy this morning. Freaking daylight savings. Spared it. Daylight savings time is doing horrendous things to my brain right now. Maybe I'll try the other door this time. Do 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 do. I love the music in here. It's so spooky. But anyway, how are you guys doing? I'm doing relatively okay. I'm a little bit more sad than usual today. But that's just because I think it's been raining for so long, you know? It's been raining in California for, like, about a couple of weeks now. 
Entry 15. Seems... <laughs> Almost went to Stitch voice there for a second. Seems like this re research was a dead end. Uh, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent some souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Why do I got the feeling that that's not gonna happen? Oh, it's too quiet for me. Entry 11. Now the Metatons made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. I just thought of something. I just really just now thought of something. I feel like an idiot for doing this right now. Okay, now I'm recording. <sighs> Sorry, I wonder sometimes if I pay attention at all. I seem to be getting more scatterbrained as Undertale goes on. This giant wall of fans. There's a switch on the wall. Press it, yes. Oh, just, oh, it cleared out the fog. Oh, someone's angry. Hello, little amalgamite. Oh! Hi, boy. It's the amalgamite. It's actually a, made out of dogs. You can see it in the silhouettes. It's all the deceased family members of the dog guards. They love sticks, though. Stick. You threw the stick and the dog ran to get it. You played fetch for a while. Now the dog, the endogony, won't fight me anymore. And I can spare it, but I want to get the, like, uh, yellow text for it. Beckon, call the amalgamite. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from its orifice. I'm going to... I'm trying to remember... It's the same commands for greater dog. So it's beckon, pet. You pet the amalgamite, it convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Z. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. This is creepy music. I do not like it. Play. You throw the wep your weapon in the corner of the room. The amalgamite brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamite is very tired. It leans its dripping, enormous body on you. Oh my gosh, it just keeps getting louder and faster. Pet. You pet the Amalgamite. It starts to generate a strange one happiness froth. Pet. You pet decisively. The Amalgamite seems to be satisfied by all of this. Okay, we can go. This is great. Okay, see you later. That was only a little bit scary. Okay. Now I'm gonna save and then head back down towards the hallway in that direction. We still have, I believe, two more of these amalgamites to follow. Entry 16. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. That was only a little scary. Ooh, what is that? <gasps> You're not a save point! I just spit on my... Oh, gosh. <laughs> spit on my pop filter. Dang it. Smells like sweet lemons. This is lemon bread. <laughs> Made out of... An Aaron, a Moldbig, and Shiren's deceased sister. Oh gosh. So I'm gonna unhug it first. You let Lemon Bread be, Lemon Bread's teeth shake. Welcome to my special hell! 
Oh. Oh, that was no way to avoid that. What even? Okay. Flex. Flex your arm. Lemon bread's muscle shakes. That's what they say. All say. I'm trying my best! Okay, I need to eat some of my junk food. Unless it doesn't harm me next turn for humming with it. I'm nervous what it'll do. That's okay. I'm gonna try. Hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. It killed me! No! Ah, oh, so close! <laughs> oh, don't lose hope. Okay, Jen, stay determined. Freaking lemon bread. I died to lemon bread. Okay, okay. Ooh, confidence. 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 I mean, I cleared all the fog out, so that means I don't have to fight. Oh, gosh. That was just a little frightening. I thought I could make it. I was wrong. Okay, lemon bread. You and me. You and me. Oh, this is new. I thought it was going to say the same things. Okay, but now I just need to flex. I felt this before. Oh, the teeth. Ooh. Could this be goodbye? Spare. I need to go back to that save point now. That was rough. I went through that battle a lot quicker than the last time, but still. My goodness. Okay. Let's continue. Now let's try going the other way now. We only have one more boss to fight, one more amalgamite. And this one, I feel like a little bit more personal with. So let's go down here. Oh, there's a note on the ground, can't make it all out, cold. That's all you could read. Well, I guess I need to find the like switch for that. So let's continue going the other direction instead of what I was just doing. Man, I hear the game doing little beeps every once in a while, and I keep thinking it's me trying to, like, open my menu, and I'm like, that's not what I'm trying to do. Oh, it's me walking past the silly monitors. I pay attention good with. What about this? I'm walking very slowly. Hey, it's a green key. You took it, put it on your keychain. I wonder if that's the same thing, if that's the key for that. It shouldn't be, because that wasn't technically cold, so... Man, that looks creepy. It looks kind of like Photoshop Flowey, but not. DT Extraction Machine Status and Active. Determination Extraction Machine. Okay. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Refrigerator. Empty. Oh. Samples of some kind. I don't like that moving refrigerator. Oh, I can walk behind him. Number 20. Asgor left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me! Uh, thanks, Asgore. Number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Oh, Alphas. Okay, I can't. Is there a refrigerator? It's empty. <gasps> oh! Oh. No, the music is sad. Oh, no. It's so cold. This is Snowdrake's mother. She passed away 
Remember, we talked to Snowdrake's father? Or father. All we have to do is joke with her. She seems very sad. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Jokety joke. Told her a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. <laughs> Thank you. It's not attacking me. Jokety joke. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. Oh, and she just leaves. Got the blue key. Okay, that's three different colored keys. What's in here? Refrigerator. It's empty. But why is it moving? A note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Okay, so the green one goes here. Okay, so I guess the blue one goes in the other one. I guess I'll meet you guys once I get back over there. And in. Blue key fits. Okay. I think this is as far as I can go in the lab? So I think I should head towards the door? I'll just save real quick. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Hold on, I just think I will put the stick back inside the box. Okay. Oh boy. Ooh, there's like one more key that needs to be done. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that. I'll buy some chips. Depen dispense some crisps. Potato chips. <laughs> Bit 13. Just regular old potato chips. Okay, how do I get out of this then? I need to get the yellow door? Where's the yellow key though? I feel like I'm missing something. Hang on, I'm going to pause the game so I can research some stuff. Be back in a millisecond for you. Wait, I, wait, I remember now. There's still a room that I didn't walk into, and that's the room I'm supposed to continue in. I am attention good with and a smart cookie, so I'm going to go there right now. Ah, oh, this is where the yellow thing's supposed to go. Note on the ground. Under sheets. That's all you could read. Under sheets. Bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. Bunch of VHSs. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray sticky ones. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Awkward. No. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in specific order. Will you watch one? Tape one. Ooh. Psst. Gory. Wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Er, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your re- I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Mm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... And, uh, mom a Get it? Uh, go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... a Mommeranian! <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, 
if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous mummedian. Uh, well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori! That one was funny! <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear, perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. <laughs> just now realized, oh, but these are home videos of Toriel and Asgore. Okay, Jen, are you ready? What? 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 Me? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> so that was their son, Azriel, and probably the human child they had taken in. Tape number three. Howdy, Jen. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on. On purpose! Now you're smiling for no reason! <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for two cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I shouldn't- I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Well, apparently the kids accidentally poisoned Asgore. Uh, it seems like the other gen kind of didn't really care as much. Video 4. I don't like this idea, Jen. What? No, no, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Y yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Jen. Never. You, yeah, we'll be strong. We'll be free. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. What? Tape five. Jen, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Jen, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. S Jen, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. Uh, I... I... No, I, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? So apparently it was the human child's idea to get six human souls and put them in the machine. Man, other Jen was kind of a creep. What the frig, Jen? Is what the frig? Did I read all of these? Let's see. 19, blah blah blah. Okay, and this one was Asgore found a cup that looks like me. 21. Spent all my time in the garbage dump my element. Okay, yeah, I did. I did all that. Okay. No, wait. This isn't it either. I, I don't know anymore. I don't know where to go. I'm completely lost. This isn't fun. Okay, okay. Sheets, though. Sheets. I guess that would be the bed area. Because that's the only thing I can think of where there are sheets. So I'll just head back to that room and check all of the beds. It's a bed. Something under the sheets. Yes. Ah, it's the key. Yeah. Woo! Saving. Da -da 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 Gotta put the last key in the slot so we can use whatever that is. Oh wait, that's right. The yellow key dock is in here. Put it in here. Click and we go. Da -da 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 -da. Meet you back at that strange door unless something interesting happens along the way. 
All right, all the colors are on. Ooh, we can go through. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. There's a second door opening. Seems to be turned off. Seems to be turned off. What's this? Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Sure. Oh, that's a lot of amalgamites. Hey, stop. Hey, Alphys. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. And they get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled potato chips you had, and because I freaking bought the pot potato chips. Dang it. Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were the one step ahead of me. Eh, this was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I'd be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I call determination. I injected it into dying monsters so that their souls would last after death, but the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, mon humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough uh, physical matter to make those con concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt, and I lost and lost with physic lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest. Believing in myself. I'm sure there'll be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Alphys, you're literally making me cry. This isn't what I had in mind. Thank you. Amalgamites! Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. I'm crying. It's not the rain. It is actual tears. Oh! Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. I don't like the sound that that makes. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Flowey. Flowey? Oh, what is that? It's a voice you have never heard before. Jen, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Jen, see you soon. 
What was? Whoa! 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 Stop! Hold on a moment. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little love in it. Dun 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 dun. The door is jammed shut with vines. Uh, we're right outside of Asgore's place, aren't we? Uh, I'm not liking this one bit. There's no save point in this stupid building! Where? Where are the save points? Judgment Hall is... Uh, I just, I just want a save point. I just really want a save point right now. Save point? Save point? Save point? Wasn't there... Oh, that's the... That is that place. Okay. Is there a save point down here? I would really like a save point, please. No? Well, it looks like I'm gonna be stuck here for a bit. Let's keep going, I guess. Why? Why are all the save points gone? Not even a save point in the throne room. Come on! Thank you. Well, this seems like the only place to end off for now. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jen. Thank you so much for watching Undertale. Be sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you want for more. Also, be sure to check out the links in the video description below and other places and, eh, and other videos that you may like on this channel. And I'll see you all next time for what probably might be one of the conclusion episodes. See you then. This doesn't bode well in the slightest.